On this episode, you can expect to see all this action. Oh, yep, we're on. Listen to that sizzling away. There we go. One heck of an adventure, and our boys is here with us. All right, so we've got one large car wire. We're going to keep for Nixie Boys' lunch, and the other one I'm going to keep because I might throw a big snapper bait down later on one of the other setups. That's the plan, boys and girls. That's why we keep those two fish. There's still quite a bit of current, so I'm going to keep casting for Kings for a little bit longer, and then we're going to go and do some more adventures. Try find something unique. Going all right, boysy? Dad's just gonna do a little bit more fishing and then we'll get you some lunch, eh? Sun just came out, looks nice in there now. If a kingy comes up on the lure, we should see it pretty well now. So we've had that tide change and it's been it's been going for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I haven't seen a king since. Uh, not my favorite tide to be fishing, so I think we're gonna pull pin. Oh, boys is having a swim. I'm going to give him his lunch now. Hey, boy, you hungry? <laughs> Good boy, eh? You hungry? It's your swimming pool, isn't it, boy? Come on. Let's go have some lunch. I'll give Boise his lunch. And then actually we might try and catch a fish for our lunch. I'll cook that up. I've got some breadcrumbs and all sorts of nice stuff there, so yeah, do a little fry up. Be bloody good, mate, I reckon. That sounds pretty good to me. And then yeah, then we might go and explore. Oh, we'll go and see if those kingies are in, in the big pool still. If they are, I'll jump in there with the underwater camera. All right, so we're gonna fill it up this car wire. It's old boys at lunch slash dinner. What do you reckon, old boy? You did. Not in the sand. Over here, on the rocks. Good boy, good boy. He's gonna love that. I'll just quickly whip the other one off and then I'll feed him the roe as well. Now roe is basically, well roe is caviar. You would have all heard of caviar, so old boys is gonna be dying and fine. Come on boy, come here. That'll keep him happy for a while. I might make some lunch myself, so I'm going to try and catch some lunch. I'll rig up the Saltega 8000. I'll put a little popper on it and see what we can catch on that. We'll be able to make something real nice. So I think we're going to throw a couple of lures and see if we can catch some fresh, fresh fish. Okay, I think to start, I think to start off we're going to use that little puppy there. That's a little Daiwa Power Splash. Give that a shot, eh? And we're ready to go, boys. Let's go see if we can get some lunch. Pretty sure this little lure is going to get a bite pretty quick. Go cast out here, I think. Oh, yep, we're on. <laughs> There's lunch, guys. As long as we can land it. There's lunch guys, bloody beauty. We got lunch, yeah boys. And I'm so hungry too. I'm gonna cook it with the skin on because once it's actually, once the meat's cooked, it's gonna fall off the skin. Okay. And with that, we got scales off. Okay, there's one. I'm so hungry. Hey boy, what about you? Two fillets. Okay.
So I've just taken the bones out of the centre there. There we have it. Two nice fillets ready to go. Chuck them on the pan, put them in a couple of wraps, and away we go, man. I'll be extremely happy to have something to eat. Give them a quick wash and fresh salt water. Lunchtime, boys! Woohoo! Okay, first of all, some old bread bags that I keep from home. We're gonna put both fillets in there. Now the secret recipes. A little bit of wildfire, seafood rub, and some panko breadcrumbs. First of all, I'm just gonna put a little bit of seasoning in there. Seal it back up. I'm just keeping it separate from the fish for now. Right, we'll open up the breadcrumbs. Good amount of that in there, boys. Wee. Give it a little mix around. And then down into the fish. And we're going to give it a good shake around. I'm going to coat those fish with a decent coating. Now, we don't have any egg or anything like that to make a real good batter. Because I wasn't going to carry that in. But this in itself should be bloody good. Right, we'll leave those there to sit for a bit. Get the cookers ready. Get the pan hot and get the fish in there. Trusty jet ball. Safety first, boys and girls. Get these little puppies on there. Oh wee. Right guys, first bit of fish. Look at that. That is a good bit of fish right there. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to sit back and relax for a change. Bloody good, man. Smells so nice. I just want to get into it right now. Listen to that sizzling away. If you guys could smell how good that smells right now, I like to leave the skin in there because the skin gets nice and crispy and it's a pretty tasty little morsel, actually. So now I'm going to dish it into some wraps and get stuck in because I'm freaking hungry. I mean, how fresh was that? We literally just caught it and then five minutes later cooked it up to a delicious, delicious lunch. Crispy up the skin and eat that. And then we'll go and see if those kingies are still in the rock pool. And then I've got a surprise. We'll go and see what we can find over there. And yeah, we'll just see what happens after that. Heaps of cool stuff to do. So yeah, I'll quickly eat these and I'll see you guys soon. That's the last wrap. Delicious, man, that's what we want. I'm just gonna walk down and see if those big kingies are still in the pool. <laughs> that was a good lunch man so nice I can see one of them the tide's so full it's actually well look at it now I can still see one king down there he hasn't quite figured out he can get out they will though so it turns out both the kingies are still in there so I'm going to get the mask and we're going to jump in there and have a look at them underwater while they're swimming around before they get out of there I'll also check to see if there's any crayfish or anything like that in there there's definitely a whole lot of other fish, so we might end up seeing some cool shit in there. And we're going to go in just in here where the waves are coming in. So hopefully we can get in between them and their escape route so we can actually get some shots of them before they get out of there. But I can still see both of them, they're still in there right now, so let's get in there quick. Oh. 
So guys, so I ended up jumping in with those kings. I managed to watch them for a little while and then they found that escape route so they they managed to get back out into the oceans. At least I got to see them underwater, that was pretty cool and they're both just hanging together. Ah, I fished for like, I fished pretty much the whole day. I only saw one more kingfish. So I've just kind of gathered a whole lot of mussels. Got some fresh mussels which I'm stoked about. Those are dinner. I'm real excited about these. When the shells start to open, that's when they're ready. How's the evening, man? Such a wicked evening. Good boy, eh? Yeah, boy. Turn that off. Oh, wrong way. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's try one. Little baby one. Oh, it's nice. Real nice. Let's get another one. How good is that, man? Muscle, the last of the muscles in the jet boil. Go native wrap. Awesome dinner. Sun setting. And tomorrow, big kingies. Hopefully some more big kingies in the morning. Gentle, boy. Morning, guys. Come on, boy. That was a sleep. Got a coffee going? Yeah, boy. I need it. Oh, feeling sore, but I'm not as sore as I thought I was going to be. I look back through the footage, no doubt you guys have seen it already. But I look back through the footage on the on the GoPro last night. Some of those big runs, those big kingies were doing, man, were just ridiculous. Those saltigas are pretty good, I reckon, eh? The drag's not just peeling off. You can hear some other crazy tension noises, I don't know, but... Yeah, pretty impressed with those reels, man. I'm going to smash this coffee back, and then we're going to get going. It's a beautiful morning. We've got a time difference of yesterday, so I can afford to be a little bit later this morning. Let's go. See what sort of big kingies we can catch today, eh? Good morning, fish. Yeah. Remember all these guys from yesterday? And yeah, we're going to be straight into it, pretty much. So hopefully it's not too far away from when the fish turn up. Still a little early, tide-wise, for what I like here. How's that, boy? Good swim? Good swim, boy. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That ledge is right here. Right, we're here, guys. Big ledge. Right here. Oh, man. I'm literally going to do some stretches this morning before I throw that first lure. Yesterday's big dogs. Yeah, I cannot handle that right now. Man, I must be getting old, eh? Here, boy, come here. Yoga. Yoga for kingies. I may change to one of these guys here. First up, while we know this is successful, the old 130 gram blackjack is going to get first throw. Let's go, guys. I'm picking. We're about another hour from real good bite time. Let's see what happens, boys. First cast, man. Let's go. Here, yeah, Kingy. Oh, yep, Kingy behind it. See that, guys? Ready for this? Oh, there's a Kingy. Ready, guys? It's about the right tide, so let's hope. Oh, what the heck is that, Carwo? 
Look at that. Big pack of kawai following the lure. Wonder if there's a kingy there. Let's have a look, eh? Oh, kawai, get out of it. If I catch one, I'll keep it for old Boise. But I don't really want to. I don't really want the hassle, so hopefully I don't. A bit more life moving around now. Kawai going past and those two kings, so it's a bit more happening at the moment. The tide's pretty well perfect for what I like. So I'm expecting we're going to get a hook up pretty shortly, guys. Let's hope. Big, big. Oh, big. What the heck is that, guys? Something big just swam past right here. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's a shark. Never mind, a shark. Just cooked up a feed, guys. Just gonna have some lunch. Chicken Italiano for lunch today. I'll eat this and then I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna throw this one here. It's a cast, pop to your drop. I don't know, I've never thrown it before. We need a freaking fish, man. But if Big Kingies turn up, this is gonna get a bite, hopefully. First cast, let's see how it goes. Nice. It's been a while since I used a sinking lure. Yep, we got him guys. And he come out of nowhere. Oh. I'm gonna keep him, try to keep him high if I can. He's a big fish, he hasn't really woken up yet. I'm waiting for him to wake up. Oh, here we go. No, you don't. Get away from there. No warning with that fella, he just came out of nowhere, jeez. Here we go. Oh. Get away from there. I think we just caught in the kelp. Yeah, we're sweet. I was just ready to pop that bale open. But I could see that he was turned and he was just about to come back around. Thanks, there, boy! Yeah, boy! I think I might try to land him soon guys. I think he's just about done. 
Oh, maybe not. Back here, come back here. Just stopped them from going round. Oh, oh. Jeez. Even though it's not first thing in the morning, I'm still feeling it. Alright, I might go down there now, guys. I'm going to try and get him in that crack like we did that one yesterday. Okay, now, this is the hard part, trying to time it right. <clears throat> He's in. No waves. He's big. He's a good fish. Okay, I got him. Let's go. Nice, solid fish. Okay. First victim on the cast, 150. Nice. Awesome, man. That was really cool. Stoked the hands with that. Let's put that there. Look at that one! Oh man! Took the cast 150 as you've seen. And yeah! Cool bit of action. I didn't even see the fish turn up. All of a sudden he's just rockets out of the depths onto the lure. So I didn't even know it was coming. Oh, yep. Yep, we got him guys. And he come out of nowhere. He's really long. He's not as girthy as the ones yesterday but he's a real long good fish i'm stoked with that man i'm so happy with that i don't know if you can hear me the wind's pretty strong now let's let him go what do you think really hey <laughs> Brand new lure. I've been wanting to throw that for a while, so it didn't take too long until it got a bite, and that fish wanted it, man. But let's get out there and see if we can get another one. Gloves on. Nice work, new lure. Cast tackle. Dive 150. Got the bite, that's for sure, man. Nice. Stoked as of that. Ready? Mate, I'm still stoked on that kingy. It's evening sunset. I'm just having a little stroll on the beach with old Boise before we head back to camp. Big plans for tomorrow morning though, so I'm gonna go and have a pretty good sleep tonight, hopefully, and then straight into some epicness tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep. Well, I don't know how big it is. Oh, it must be decent. <laughs>